This is hydrogen tap. I have just come across another very, very interesting phenomena, if you will, that may cause us to take a second look at this Stanley Meyer situation. I am one of the first to say I disbelieve in the pole system, but I've just put together four cells, four plates that, in fact, they're still producing. That are in, configured in such a way that I'm going to put a 12 volt supply on it right now and watch what happens. 12 volts applied. Now I'm going to disconnect right now. That is not residual that you're looking at there. That is still producing. What we've got here I can't say for sure at this moment, but what we got here is a capac capacitance system. That if we put a pulse across here, I'm going to reactivate it again. Now I'm going to take it off. If we put a pulse across it like that, it's now disconnected. Connected. Disconnected, disconnected, still disconnected, still disconnected, connected, disconnected, it's still disconnected, it's still disconnected, connected, disconnected, it's still disconnected, it's still disconnected, it's still disconnected, connected now. Disconnected. It's still disconnected. It's still disconnected. It's still disconnected. Connecting. It's connected now. It's disconnected. It's disconnected. Still disconnected. Still disconnected. I'm connecting it again. I'll let it leave it connected for a second or two. Disconnected. Leave it disconnected. I don't quite know whether this will fill in the gaps for us, but it might. I'm going to connect it up again. Disconnect it. It's now disconnected completely. It's disconnected. Running off a 12 volt system. It's disconnected. I'm going to start connecting and disconnecting. Connect, dis. Connect, disconnected. Connect, disconnected. Connect, disconnected. Connect, disconnect. Connect, disconnect. Connect, disconnect, connect, disconnect. It's still disconnected. It looks to me like we're building up a capacitance in this plate that is staying active between the connection. If that's true, if that's true, then by putting a pulse modulation in there, what we're doing is what they do on a motor. On a motor to get the motor to run more efficiently, 
they turn it on just long enough to get it running and then they turn it off and then turn it on just when it starts slowing down again and turn it off and so forth and so forth and what they're doing is getting the power out of that motor by using the centrifugal force of the motor itself to kind of carry over. If what we're seeing here is the capacitance built up there and the capacitance isn't stealing from the voltage, then in effect we can do the same thing. We can use a pulse with system and pulse it between the time the capacitance are charged. Now, this may be nothing at all. It could be that we're going to be losing the same amount of energy as we're putting in because we're charging the capacitance here. But I tend to think not, and the reasoning behind that is when we put a voltage across the plates, it's causing the separation of the of the water to hydrogen oxygen. Since we're doing that, I'm going to release it now. There's a possibility, I'll use that word modestly, that capacitance is, is either bringing us over 100% or bringing us to the 100% in that we're creating a battery effect across the plates. We've tried this many times with other plates, but this particular plate, if you happen to look, this is an Aaron cell. And what I've done is taken out one of the nylon screws. It's running with one nylon screw on the bottom. And I've done my spacing with the two electrodes at the top. This could even be the key to the Widowmaker. If you recall, the Widowmaker only has one screw in the center. Let's try it again here. It's on. It's off. 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 It's on, it's off. It's on, it's off. It's on, it's off. This could be an optical illusion as such. I don't know yet. At the very least, it's an interesting phenomena. It may be something we've seen before. I don't know. Even taking this in account, the Widowmaker is still putting out more hydrogen. But this gives us something new to draw on. And what I've got here is a V shape, meaning it's wider at the top than it is at the bottom. It's an eighth of an inch spacer on the bottom. 